Hello everyone and welcome back to the World War II Solitaire board game channel and another unboxing video. Today we're gonna look at Sniper Elite, the board game. Designed by one of my favorite designers, or I think I should say my favorite, David Thompson, uh, together with Roger Tankersley. And this game has a solo mode designed by... I want to remember his name as David. He did the, another game with solitaire mode, or actually several games with solitaire modes. Anyway, we'll get into that once we open the game. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. We have some different sides. We can choose which one we want to display as it is in our bookcase. And on the back here, I'm going to give you a chance here to... Yes, his name is David Turksi and Norelli Lovers. Okay, I'm going to give you a chance here to pause the video in case you want to read what's on the box. Here we see one to four players. We have 10 unique miniatures. And contents of the box. And here we have dedicated solo rules. Uh, awesome. A very good reason for me to buy Sniper Elite. I would have bought it even if it didn't have the solo mode use because it's designed by David. And um, and uh, Sniper Elite is also one of my favorite uh, video games. Sniper Elite, we have our... Uh, these are solo rules, I'm guessing. And then we have our main rules. We're gonna take a closer look at all of the components, but first of all, we'll just see what's inside the box. And here we have a bunch of counters and stuff. And the big, the big ones always pop out. And then we have a map, which is one-sided. One more map. Ooh, a rather large map here. U-boat, some kind of U-boat base. And some other components here. Nothing hidden, hidden in beneath. We have some nice miniatures. Let's see if I can get the plastic off. Some kind of token bag. Here is our pencil for drawing on these. Um, I'm guessing it is. I haven't read the rules, but I'm guessing it is to draw, draw on the board. Not sure if you do that, do that in solo. And we have a bunch of. Um, Cubes, smaller ones, larger ones, and some markers of some sort. We have a D6, nice looking one with, it has the one chevron on three sides it seems, so not sure how that works. And then we have our sniper, his name is like Carl or Alfred or something, I don't remember his name is Carl. Yeah, I like this. I think I prefer this one to the ones that we got in um, in the command the sabotage, I should say, or I should get sued by Ubisoft. Let's take a look at all of these cards. If I can manage to get it open, sometimes it just is um, quite a challenge. There we go. So we have a bunch of cards here. Let's take a look at all of them. Let's take a look at the back first. So first we have our solo cards. And some other type of cards with black border, red border, and then German American cards. Okay, so let's take a look at our American cards first. We have the S mine and the personal explosive. One more of those. Silenced ammo. If you have played the game, you will know these items well. Sound masking, Tommy gun, and trench gun. And for the Axis cards, we have the different um, guys here. We have the Medic, the Scout, the Yaga. 
radio operator, sniper, and kennel master. And then for our solo cards, it looks like this on the back. I'm guessing they're used to control the, the German opposition. That's our solo cards. Then we have the ones with uh, this red background. I think these are objectives. Seems like it. And with the black background. Also looks like objectives, so perhaps this main objectives and, and optional objectives or something like that. Just speculating. Okay, let's take a look at our Germans here. We have what looks like to be an officer. Soldier, got an MP40. It's a little bit big, but yeah, I gotta say I, I like these. Um, I like the detail. I think I prefer these ones again to the ones in um, the sabotage. A fat officer. German soldier. Bayonet here, bayonet. Another German officer screaming orders. Looks like he's holding a ray gun. Focus, please. And here we have uh, what looks like a pepper shot as a Russian submachine gun. That's a little bit strange. I don't know what he would be doing with that. I don't really think because I think this game is on the Western Front, so I don't really think they would be allowed to bring a Russian submachine gun there. But what do I know? Okay, so we have this rather large map. And I have to zoom out to be able to show it to you. And you can see it's, it's really large here with a submarine base. We have the submarine over here. It's also two-sided. So if we turn it, it looks like this. We have some kind of boat. Cool. It folds up like this. And then we have these smaller boards. Uh, not sure. Okay, so that is gonna be the, it's the submarine base. Uh, okay, cool, I get it. And uh, so basically, it's the it is a big board, but in small editions. I'm guessing perhaps uh, the sniper is noting with the pencil on this on these boards when you play at least uh, two player, and uh, you mark with the pencil, and then uh, the German players have this side. But that's not how I'm gonna play it, because I only play solo! So don't worry guys, we have our counters here. Let's see if I can bring my camera back. We have our counters here. Solo defenders, solo sniper. So maybe these are for solo. 
And finally we have our rules. So we start with the main rules. Wow, what a beautiful rules box. Set up, playing as the sniper, shooting and looting, playing as the defenders. I don't think you can play as the defenders in the in the solo mode. Wow, there's not a lot of rules here, man. It's playing as the snipers, so we that's gonna be three, five, yeah, five, seven nine about 10 pages of rules if we don't look at the loadout setup and so on because you know that is that is pretty cool so it's a pretty light game then then we have our solar rules okay in this version of the game you will play as the lone sniper taking on a set of automated defenders controlled by small deck of cards these rules are slightly different to the multiplier uh, multiplier player version but the components are largely the same uh, all rule of the multiplayer game, line of sight, apply to the sniper unless explicitly stated otherwise. Please refer to the other rule book for descriptions of the maps, objectives, loadout cards and how line of sight works. There's no difference between soldiers and officers in this mode. They are collectively referred to as defenders. So we have four pages of rules, six pages of rules. A total of six pages of rules for our solo games. Ah, that is acceptable. I think this is gonna be pretty easy to learn how to play. Uh, and that, my friends, is the end of this video. That is Sniper Lead to the board game, uh, which has a solo mode which I'm hoping to play soon. Uh, stay tuned to the channel, guys, because there is gonna be a uh, uh, unboxing of the Eagle's Nest expansion and the deluxe upgrade kit, of course. So, and of course, then we're gonna play the game as well uh, later in the future. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Yay!